Welcome back to Mer, where we are going to be starting our new campaign in Victoria 3, where we're starting off as the Splendid Sweden. The aim of this campaign is we are going to try and gain dominion over the Baltics. That includes taking back Finland, Estonia, Lithuania, Latvia, potentially cruising on into Prussia, ganking Denmark, and we'll see what else follows. So far, I've briefly learned how the game operates and I've set up what I believe is a splendid start. It will be proved to be otherwise very shortly, but for now, just at least, let me taste a moment of free fleeting glory. So, we're improving relations with Great Britain and Austria. You might be like, why I pick those two countries? It's because, well, Britain's Britain. They've got all this stuff. And Austria, it's because I may be having to go to war with Prussia, and certainly Russia, and they're right next to each other. So, you know, they're still not completely collapsed like they were in the past. You had the Vienna Conference and Metternich doing bits over there to keep peace in Europe. Uh, we've already stopped that because before we even started the game, I've declared war on Denmark. We're going to try and take hold of Copenhagen. So for that, I have gone and enlisted every able-bodied man in the entire nation, and we're going to charge all 50 soldiers, well, whatever 50 soldiers representative of, let's say 50,000, into the, I don't know, 17,000 Danish. They don't stand much of a chance. And other bits and bobs I have done, I've gone into our lovely politics. I've reformed our government by kicking out the church and bringing in the armed forces, increasing our legitimacy by just a smidge. Um, and they also aligned with my ideas or the ideas I want to go for this campaign. I want to basically become an autocracy, as you can see. We're already going and lobbying the constituents in the oligarchy to say, no, you know what? You know, remember the days when the king kind of controlled everything? Those were the good days, right? Yeah, they were. So after we get that passed, fingers crossed, it's only 6.3%, but I believe through varying events, we should be able to bring that upwards and buildings we're currently in the realms of constructing more construction sections which will allow us to build things more concurrently and after that we're going to try and improve our logging iron coal and tool workshops uh we're going to get a steel workshop actually as well queued up and also we're going to try and do the journal tasks which will pop up in a second trying to get us to increase our livestock so, we're gonna dive straight into this game by unpausing and beginning our grand conquest of Denmark, who are going to be squashed beneath our military boot of our industrial machine. Well, it's not quite an industrial machine, we're, we're slowly working our way up to that by building a lovely jubbly industry. So for now, we're going to be mobilizing all our troops, bringing them to a border, and then promptly a war will be declared. Uh, they've got a British-French rivalry. Wow, there's something new. Not. Um, so yeah, these are going to be our BFFs in the future. Well, we're currently working towards improving the UK's opinion. It's going to take time, but I believe we can acquire two decent allies. And we're going to have the Holy Triumvirate. Because, you know, when you get allies, you need to make sure they're close, but not too close. So these are all within regions that they can protect me, but we're not bordering them, so we don't have any conflicting ideas we're going to conquer zealand and we're going to do it brilliantly the best conquering the world's ever seen how are you doing lambo good to see you hmm and in terms of buildings construction we're going to be oh nice we've already got new stuff expand the building thought i just have expanded the building you said in gotland correct this is gotland that's where i just expanded Fine, we'll expand it and not- oh no, it's in the process of being expanded. Or is that my cash reserve that's- <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. The cash reserve is absolutely tanking. What is causing that? Construction goods. What are- what construction goods are we using up? Iron, wood, tools, and fabric. We need more iron, so iron needs to be our highest priority. Let's go back to, um construction we're building an iron mine um we're gonna drop this down and we're gonna close these and we're gonna see how things progress we want to make sure we balance our budget so we're not having to import anything too expensive is his 
that's how economics works in my head at least so let's go to budget no it's not budget it should be market and then balance so i'm losing so we need to build iron pronto and then secondarily wood and cloth and use that to smelt it into higher end products and then before you know it we're going to snowball okay that should help balance the budget slightly we need to keep our eyes on the prize for now current value our war support is very high we'll drop down to four and we should be able to fairly promptly steamroll over this area and construction goods the price is not going to really drop down until we're able to construct our iron mine we need to iron out the kinks um so we'll just keep an eye on that it's gonna take 12 weeks um we're not gonna go bankrupt by the time but i don't want to get into a deficit because if we get into a deficit we need to I read our reserves went from 330, but I was reading the wrong thing. We'll take our time. We might just instead work on increasing the amount we construct. But really, right now, we need to get a healthier cash flow before we can improve our industrial capacity. Because even if we have a strong industrial capacity, we won't be able to support it with our pauper fortune. We are but a poor prince living a fantasy. Easy come, easy go. Will you please be my bro? Mm, no events have fired so far. Our iron mine is ticking along nicely. Our balanced budget is working slightly better. And I'm hoping after the war... Do we have war expenses? Why are there no war expenses? Military wages, I guess. But you would expect increased... Maybe the wages increased during wartime as well. Oh, goods for military buildings? That must be it. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the general's doing good stuff. Our navel is blossoming like a beautiful flower from the soil of fertility. And this is about to progress to through occupation. What? Okay, we're, we're over here now. So we're crossing onto the final island. And then we should be able to declare peace. Um, conquer Zealand, propose peace. No party agrees to this peace deal. And there's no way... Um, Fizan, do you know if there's a way to gain additional Cassius Bellies? Because I would like to take Jutland and the vassals of Schwestig Holstein and Holstein. Convoy is sunk. Good, good. Hopefully sinking their convoys is decreasing their war support. Why do we have an idle general? Um, okay, we need to go and re-jig our forces. Military. You are going to be pushing into this area, please. Why has this not become green? I'm confuddled. I am very confuddled. Something bizarre happened, but it looks like the con quest is continuing. We have any new journal entries? Path to liberalism. Sweden's enacted census suffrages, universal suffrage. Uh, have at least one of these liberal radical markets. Um, event triggered freedom, equality, and brotherhoods. No, I don't think we'll do that. But I would like either of those two. And livestock ranchers should... Be ticking along, right? What does this even mean? Okay. We need to start producing that and just pray for the best. Our gold reserves going down. How is our building looking? Construction. What is causing this? Government wages. Okay, we need this war to end a pronto. There are about 3.5, so I don't think it's going to be long. Nice. We should be able to pose a peace deal. No? I don't understand. They're at negative. What do we need to get them to? Negative 100. Preposterous, I say. 
Short war duration. Okay, we just need to wait for the short war duration to um tick up, I think. And then we should be good completing it. And as soon as that's done, we'll be able to recover our finances. We're about to run out of gold reserves. Vulnerable front. Why is this front vulnerable? Um, can we just, like, go back and just hold this area? Hmm. How do we, how do we pull back? Pull out. Hold the front. Hmm. I don't, we don't have enough generals to completely hold the front. Just, just defend the front. That's fine. There's no need to continue pushing. We just need to wait for the short war duration to finish. Expand building, I understand. Now we're only at negative and we have enough gold reserves not to die. Swedish war reparations. No, nope, I don't want any war reparations. We're not having any humiliating defeats. The peace acceptance is going to be ticked off and done in a few more days. More goals pressed on Denmark. Size of German. War support. Okay, I think within the week we'll be able to complete it. Yep, here, here. The decision is complete. Denmark shall become. Propose peace. We will not accept this peace deal. We will accept this peace deal. Nice. Okay. We've completed our acquisition of the new Zealand. I always thought this was Zealand. I'm confused by this, this area here. Maybe this is also Zealand. Don't ask me. And we have a paperwork of a new regime. Bureaucrats working to maintain many of the democratic institutions currently being dismantled in favor of autocracy are concerned about the future of Jarl Benzik's regime. The dead fish must be cut away. Enactment success. Bureaucrats will become more radical. No. We must rejuvenate Sweden. The dead fish must be cut. The rot removed. Currently, finances are appalling. We're going to have to rectify that. And to do that, we're going to have to give up on our military in its entirety. This may come to bite us in the bum later, but for now, we're removing the construction set to be built here. We're going to decrease our barracks down to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Okay, we're dropping it to 4. 3, 2, 1. Um, we'll leave it at 1, because it doesn't really cost much at 1. Port. We'll leave a port. A naval base. Kind of expensive as well. But what's it do? Naval power protection. You know, we should probably keep our navy if we're not keeping our army. Because then we can at least... We just need to worry about Russia. We can protect our port from Denmark. But well, I know technically you can't because they can cross over here. But hypothetically in the real world we could be. So just pretend like we're in the real world. And while we've cut down on cost here. Beep. Bop. Boop. And over here. One, two, three, four. We can go on a rampant construction phase. Okay, we'll leave everything else at one. That's fine. There can't be that much to improve anyway. The amount of money we'll save from them because I'm not planning to go to war for a, a while. I don't know how I can gain a, another castle's belly because the only place we're expanding is into Denmark and we just had a war with Denmark so I presume there's some kind of treaty in place that will prevent our further annexation of them. Technically I could go here but I'm pretty sure they are in Prussia's sphere of influence. How do I check that? If I was to go conquer state we believe these countries may join either side or remain neutral. We believe these countries may side with the enemy. 
Yeah. So I, I don't fancy going to conflict with Russia at the moment. Because I these two areas are the only other ones I would contemplate. Would these accept? Oh no, that's a war goal. At the start of the play, we have these alleys. At the start of the play, we will face these enemies. Okay, we could actually take over Lubeck. Do we want to go for it? Do we want to keep our military and take over Lubeck? Lubeck is a good trading area. In terms of these... Hanover. No, I, I feel like we need to industry up now. We can always go back if needed and conquer Lubeck and go on a military expansion spree because we probably could fairly confidently capture Lubeck, Hamburg, and a few others around here without incurring too much ire. But for now, I will ignore that situation. Hopefully Denmark captures them for me. That would be serendipitous indeed. And everything else we have is entirely for the production of industry. Industry. Paper mills, textile mills. You're all making bank. Thank you very much. I don't know how much of an army we have now, but it's certainly not a lot. So we'll save, and we're going to call this uh, No Army. Stupid Mur gets invaded and conquered by another nation while he's trying to rapidly industrialize. Uh, urban center, yes, that is a thing. But for now, I instead want to check out the market. We are missing mostly wood, so we're currently not producing one, are we? So we're going to go and build resources, logging camp. The lobbing camp will be predicted profit. Yeah. I guess we can go for one on Gotland. Or even one on Zealand. <clears throat> I could do a profit. We can even go for two, really. Yeah, we'll go for two. No, we're losing too much there. We, we, I, I wanna, don't want to hemorrhage too much. So we'll build one logging camp, and at the end of eight weeks, we'll, we'll see and build another one. That is going to be our plan. We're going to sit pretty and build up and fatten our britches before we can swallow the world. Expensive government goods. Yeah, everything's expensive. States are in turmoil. Yada, yada, yada. Easy breezy. We'll incorporate them. Nothing to worry about, love. Nothing. We got shopkeeper, shopkeeper, and a peasant here. Pennies for a pauper. Aye. Oh, why'd it drop? Is this... How much is this costing, my institution? Landowner's political strength. Landowner's political strength. Minus... 60, it doesn't say it's costing any money. So, I don't understand. If it gave me a currency cost, it's costing some bureaucracy, but bureaucracy I have plenty of. See? It's easy. Easy. Lemon. Squeezy. Hmm. Well, we're just, we're just going to have to accept it. I can't see a way of decreasing that uh, it's for construction goods I've just shot through the roof and this isn't even going to bring about that much benefit well we're going to go in the red and then we'll sit down for a bit until we're not in the red and we'll rinse and repeat that's the only thing I can think of at the moment any other ideas are most welcome because you can probably come up with a better one than I. Okay, we're now in the green 1.4. But if we're thinking about the amount... Hey, we're up. Okay. Once we... Balance the budget. And I get into... I want to get to 30k surplus, so we'll wait a few weeks. 
going to build what's next on the list. We need more wood. We're going to build a second wood. And then we're going to build a tool center, potentially. Tools are used for everything nowadays. Yes, that seems great. Brilliant ideas, Mur. You are on it. Brazilian French rivalry. You go enjoy your rivalries. I'll just here to. Hmm. Ow! I can't believe you did that. My face hurts. How are you doing, Clanky? What have you been up to as of late? We are now up to a gold reserve of 30,000, which I believe means we are ready to construct another bit of wood. Would you rather have it here or here? Predicted profit is going to be... Huh. Further up here, but I would rather the increase in productivity... Ah. We'll go for Gotland. YOLO! It says it's going to give me more money there. I'm very tired too. We're twins. I've slept terribly this week. But I'm hoping tonight I get some form of satisfaction and a brilliant and tranquil rest that rejuvenates my mind, body, and soul. Fingers crossed at least. Hmm. We just don't need this much construction. Let's go back to buildings and we'll decrease construction sector. How much is this costing? Let's double check. Random camera effect. Oh yeah, random camera effect's a cool one. I like random camera effect. I don't know which one. Was that a good one or a bad one? I'll redeem a second one for you. Just for YOLO. I'm on fire. I'm on fire with desire. I will go higher. I will go higher. It's true. Okay, we remove one. That brings it to 26. And we're going to remove a second one. Do we not have a second one? I thought we had a second one down here. Yeah, we do. Perfect. Okay. We've definitely balanced the budget. We built too much construction early on, which was hemorrhaging our funds. I figured out what the issue was, and now we're good. Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4 is an old one. I used to love that game. You enjoying it? Well, you're just you're playing it, so I presume you're enjoying it. Usually you wouldn't play it if you don't enjoy it. That's how things tend to work. Unused construction production. Yeah, but it's only two, so it's fine. We'll lose more if we remove it. So I'm just going to let it chill for now. Chilling and grilling in the counter sphere. And we can double check our market, see if that changes anything. Your unproductive train routes. Uh, is this an import? Well, can we close it then? I don't want an unproductive trade walk route. That is not necessary. Details, the balance is still negative in wood. But it's not that negative, to be frank. I've been using M16 A4 assault rifle and I hate it, but now I like it. Do you know why you like it? Because you're brilliant with all forms of guns. You're shooting on point, aim, deadly, vision 2020. How was that for a compliment on topic? Hmm. Yeah. Well, for now, I, I think... We're just going to be playing the waiting game for a bit. We'll go up to five speed. And every time we go back up to around 40 gold reserve, we'll go and build something else, which the market dictates I need. Market, what do you say I need? Balance. We're still lacking wood. So we're going to build another woods. And to do that, we go to construction. Do you know much about Victoria 3? Where is my predicted profits? We're going to go to Scania. And nope, we have, I, I thought we balanced the construction goods, but it still looks like we're having issues. What are we mainly spending money on? Iron. Iron is what's expensive. Okay. 
Um, I don't think it's that much higher above market though, so I would like to cut it down. But taking a gander at the details, the balance of iron is... Am I blind? Okay, we have an autocracy. Thank you. That is good. I don't really know what it changes, but now we can go for a new law change. I like law change. Broadside of a barn. Hey, you're still hitting something. That's what I call thumbs up. Okay, iron is still kind of lacking. Swedish tool market is plus 66%. So I'm going to try and produce some tools next. Because that is a fairly hefty increase. Dyes as well. We just don't produce any dyes. I guess we can try subsidize imports by cutting off tariffs. Um, well, I'll, I'll ignore it for now. Where's our currency sitting at? Gold reserves. Are we, we're still constructing. No, we're not. We just have a nice gold reserve. Okay. We'll go to the market and produce a tool factory, which is an industry tool workshop. Predicted profit is going to be highest in Gotland. Gotland again. Sure. I'm happy to put it in Gotland. Actually, no. I'm going to put it in Gotland because you are the goat, Clanky. And there are peasants available to work, and there aren't in Gotland. Are our buildings even being staffed? We've got 0% unemployment at least. Migration? Why are people leaving? we got good work here. Technology is almost done though, so that is superb. Or at least I hope it's superb. Any other issues we have? States and turmoil, input good storage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody do the fish. Um, encourage exports. Um, protect domestic supply. I mean, we'll, just, we'll just leave it. No need to faff around because I'll eventually forget about it and it will end up shooting me in the foot. And we're currently not in World War One, so I don't want to be shot in the foot. Hold a grand exhibition. We don't have the ability to do any of that. Oh, we have a lot of radicals. Why are there so many radicals? Are they all coming from... I presume the radicals are coming from here. What's the population? We got around 680,000. So yeah, I presume most of them. We had zero at the beginning. I don't know what's causing the radicals. Oh yeah, probably the fact that we're now an autocracy. Uh, restore the oligarchy. Yeah... Maybe I should have just left it. We got some tax avoidance. Why do we have tax avoidance? Um, it's, they're unhappy. I thought we... I thought we brought them in. I thought they were part... Okay, well apparently they're no longer part of us. Maybe because we got rid of... The oligarchy, now we're in autocracy. I'm not too sure. But we're going to try and... Add a change. Hereditary bureaucracy, we've got appointed. I'd much rather have appointed. That gives me more authority than... Peasant levies, professional army I'm happy with. Economic system, interventionalism... I'm also happy with that. Agrarianism. Landowners endorse this. Yeah, that's probably not good for industrialization. Mm. What else can we do? Land base, per capita. Taxation. We've already got per capita, which is the best one we can have, I think. Do we have consumer and... Yeah, we have both. So we have consumption. Why? Pre capita taxation. Per capita taxation. Oh, I see. For these are the different strata of society. Understandable. Have a nice day. Um, surfed and abolished. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, I wish there was an easier way instead of scrolling every single time. Colonial resettlement. Uh, temporary approval. Yeah, we'll go for some colonial resettlement. 
they'll be useful in constructing, you guessed it, colonies. And after that, we can work on other bits and bobs. What does an autocracy do? Gives extra authority, which is nice. Increased legitimacy and political strength for aristocrats. Capitalist aristocrats. Authority. So yeah, it's just a slightly better version of oligarchy. And if we go to universal suffrage. Yeah, autocracy is the best, it seems. But you need to keep down on the dissidents, which you know, tend to make a bit of a mockery of my situation, considering I've gotten rid of all of my military. General Staff Unlocked. I like General Staff. Unlock Skirmish Infantry for Ballot, Production Method, Conscription Center. How do we automatically upgrade our military? Skirmish Infantry, Mobile Artillery, Cavalry Scouts. That'd be slightly more expensive. But I am willing to look after my army, considering we don't really have one. Make sure they're the best of the best. Better than all the rest. And we've still got... Oh, we're in credit right now. Sort of producing. Well, we'll eventually be out of credit and back in the green. I should probably wait till we get up to 100. And then work on staying completely above it because if we're at positive 50 and we go down to 60 what we're we building there was that upgrading our production ah, i see how it works so apparently we need to whoa 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 intensive agriculture unlocked that that's good um standard of living well it looks like we're gonna have to go through our buildings and improve upon everything here we've got a dye workshop craftsman sewing is that going to give us more or less income more income okay i'll take more income thank you very much pig iron yadi yadi paper mill i don't think we got anything it should just go straight to the food 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 glorious food rural soil enrichment Intensive growing. Oh, it shows you with a notification. That is swell. So that should be everything, right? Gorgeous. And now we should be making even more moolah. And once again, we're going to go back to sit back and relax. We're going to wait until we're at a 100k of reserve. Brilliant. We've changed our production method. We're up to 10k, which is a significant increase from where we were at before. Anything else that we need at the moment? I think we're good. We're just almost, almost at what I would call a healthy balance. We're not like governments of today where we're at 200 to debt to GDP ratio. We will always keep a steady gold reserve unless we're at war and it's strictly necessary to go into a deficit to acquire new territory. Bar that, we will work towards a better future. Rural folk are bad. Petite bourgeois are evil. We don't have many people in our government, do we? This is no bueno. Well, we gave you new farming solutions. You should chill. You should be happy. Up all night to get lucky. I'm up all night to have fun. I'm up all night to get lucky. I'm up all night to win. To have won. There we go. That rhymes. Oh yeah. We need to check buildings. I meant market. Did we just construct tools? I'm pretty sure we just did our tools. So our balance is still wood. Always wood. Um... Iron's increased market price. Swedish market has an input goods shortage. Okay, we'll try and solve that. We silk, coal, ammunition, and dyes. I don't know what goes into each of them because there's obviously 
synthetic plants. So yeah, silk go into luxury clothes. But we're going to go for coal right off the bat. Because we have a major input shortage. But the thing is, it's for construction. I'm concerned about construction goods. But for now, we'll listen. We'll listen to it. Coal is an important resource. So we will build some. Uh, by some, I do just mean one. We will build one coal. Modern sewage. Construction sector, max level infrastructure from population and maximum infrastructure from population. That is useful. And in terms of research, we are going to go for society and nationalism. What I really want is pan-nationalism. It's still going to take a while. But this should allow for... Not much, really. Not much, but I want to have a unification war and bring Scandinavia together. And obviously that's going to have to wait considering we don't have a military of any sort at the moment. Politics. What are you dilly-dallying about? Oh yeah, you're thinking about adding a colonial office. Local police force, dedicated police force would also be good. Militarized police force, even better. But we can easily implement that. And help crack down on any and all dissident. Secret police would also, you know, help solve a lot of issues in my life. Can we make an ally with you yet? You're having the first opium war? Um, good luck. Uh, you're reputable, good. You're cautious. Since you're relative to interest, but has not yet decided whether this is a friend or an enemy. Fine. No active diplomatic plays. How do I have a diplomatic play? How does one do that? Military lens, diplomacy lens. Can I establish a colony? No, we need to establish a colonial affairs, don't we? Declare interest. Uh, we have a maximum of two. We'll just leave it here for now. And when we have our colony, we can declare interest in Nigeria. Oh, we have a new journal thing. Expand the shipyards. Where is it? Scania. You want expanded shipyards in Scania. Building shipyards. Yeah, I'm going to hold off for now. When does this time out? Does it have a timeout? Those ones have a timeout. Where, where did I find the timeout? I don't know. Wait, have we completed the research? Oh, no, that was one of the learn the games. Expand the shipyards in Scania. Okay, we'll, we'll chill for now. I want to increase industry, as I said, before I work on that. No wars, diplomacy. I'm just confused. How do I enter the diplomatic screen? Interactions? Ask to become protectorate. Um, take on debt, expel diplomats, violate supremacy, foil alliance. Maintenance cost generates 15. Why are you why are you against it? Austrian power projection, the rank of a great power compared to ours. Base reluctance. Okay, well, we're going to be more likely to get Austria first away. And we're spending most of it improving our opinions with other people. Uh, what happens when we have excess authority? I'm not too sure, but we do have excess. And that's costing... Yeah, we, we got we got excess of quite a lot of stuff. I don't really know how to use them. The only thing we're lacking is money and lots of it. If anybody just wants to like gift me millions of moolah, I will certainly take it on board. Um, Swedish market increase of wood. Let's take a look how it seems. How is coal still an issue? Heating needs, ammunition, dyes. These are all luxury goods. So I'm not too bothered. We're going to go for another iron mine. 
because we need to use that in construction anyway and it is expensive by plus fifth plus 50 preposterous i say and we're gonna plop this why do we have predicted negative profit everywhere what is the reason um i'm not too sure but we'll build some in norland for now our gold reserve is looking good looks like we don't need to worry so much i, I do want to check something because we might have been wasting a lot of money and i might have been able to remove one of our keyword might i don't think i can but i just want to check if i were to remove construction site of level one level one level one where do we want to remove remove here for now actually no we put a lot on gotland so scania actually we'll just remove it from here Okay, we could have very easily just removed it. And cleared up more money. We're learning things. We're learning that an abundance is such a thing. And we need to be cautious of that situation. Country subjugated. How's the world look right now? What? Has the UK decided to go and get... Um, interesting. They're up here instead of down there. Portugal's still being Portugal. And then Hong Kong. Can you get Hong Kong? They haven't made a Hong Kong territory. Weird. Maybe the UK can make it separately and by itself it doesn't exist. I'm not entirely positive why that's going on. Where's the most populous region? Probably around here. Shanghai. Overview. 16 million. Blimey. This one area has more people than all of me. That is sad. What are we looking at right now? Like 3 million? 3.5 million. Not too shabby. Okay, it's pretty shabby. It is very shabby, actually. Turmoil, tax waves, my direction of protection. Uh, that's slowly decreasing. These are all increasing by varying degrees. Which makes me happy. Nords, Danes... Okay, yeah, the Danes seem to be leaving from here and going to Gotland because, you know, like, rah, we were conquered by Sweden. We don't want this. We're angry. Let's go to another part of Sweden. Rah. You know, because that, that makes perk sense, right? What's America doing? I don't know. American things. They shouldn't really be much of an issue for another hundred years. Okay, may maybe not that long, but like 50 years. Mm -hmm. It's mainly big boy Britain until World War One. Low market access. We have so much money. Let's queue some things up. What will they be? I'll make you see. We need more wood. And iron. And tools. And coal. Let's go for it. We're going to go for... One more wood. Where is the wood? Resources. Logging camps. Where's my profit going to be best at? Scania. We'll have one. We're next and go for an iron mine. Profit's going to be best in Nordland. 
Moving to the third choice, which is going to be our Craftlands. Where's our best profit going to be? Svealand. After Svealand, we're going to try and build what well, you wanted shipping yards in is it Gotland? Shipyards in Scania. Okay, fine. I will improve your skipyards. They're going to be costing me some money, but fine. Shipyards. Am I losing my marbles? Is shipyards the same as port? Journal. Um, shipyards in Scania. Here. Shipyards. In Scania. Good. Yep. I've done it. I'm pretty sure. I hope. We'll see. I wonder how much we have in terms of military now. Uh, they would not become a protectorate. I'm kind of curious about what would happen if we try and take over Lubeck right now. I don't think we're any state to do so, considering we're incredibly politically unstable. And everything else is going slightly tits up. I would wait till after five years and we've incorporated our new region. And then we can go after... Nationalism. When is that complete? 20 months. So less than two years. We just saved, right? We'll do a test of war. I kind of want to see what our capabilities are at this moment. We're going to lose it, considering I took everything. But... We believe the countries will remain neutral, and it will just be Lubeck against us. And we will have three inf infamy. That is fine. And then if we were to go with our navy, military, activate, take all these beauties, mobilize all generals. Yeah, that's not that much. And in terms of navy, I want you to do a naval invasion from... Okay, we need to wait for our naval invasion. And we'll be at war very shortly, I hope. Idle commander, I'm aware you're an idle commander, but I'm afraid you can't really do much right now. We're going to be idling no matter what. See, we need to have a naval invasion. And the king has taken personal interest in the ongoing debate of colonial resettlement. The result is his royal front and short of passes. Kings will be done. Um, advise the king against it will do more harm than good. What's the success chance at the moment? King's will will be done. I swear that didn't do much. I should have just not done the king's will. Even though it is the king's will, we're an autocracy. I don't know what you're on about. Turmoil from radical pops is slowly ticking upwards. And after we complete that, we are definitely going to have a standardized police force. That would be useful. Ah, pause. Pause. To arms. Really? Austria joined in? And Prussia cares about it? Is this strictly necessary? Okay, whatever. This turned into a far bigger thing than it needed to be. But we're taking over Lubeck. We're going to bring our navy. How much do we have? We have gold reserve 280,000, so we'll be able to last this war, no problems. Axel. And the military should come along with them, I think. Lubeck's small, it shouldn't pose an issue in terms of our conquest. And screw frigate unlocked. Nice. Well, we're going to promptly go to our buildings and change our construction to screw frigates because I like screwing frigates except they lied to me and I can't don't don't know what that's about unless there's one up here that I'm missing urban textile paper shipyards reinforced wooden ship there we go I'll be making more moolah 
extensive military shipbuilding uh, versus civilian shipbuilding. Uh, I think extensive military shipbuilding is worth it in this case. Shipyards are actually quite productive. I didn't know that. Okay, they were right in advising it. It's a good place to use our wood. And our navy, what, what are you doing, Mr. Navy? Where are you? Okay, he's just, he's progressing. He's going. They're mobilizing. And we should be able to... Wow, 1,000. That is very antagonistic. I don't think they like us. I do not think they like us. And it looks like um, Prussia and Austria are going to be battering bodies against each other. And Prussia is losing. But we just need them to, you know, hold on just long enough for us to go and claim our beautiful loot back. Because it kind of kind of is Swedish, right? Right? It's it's Swedish. Right? This is This is not unjustified. Kind of part of Holstein. Um, let's take a look at the war. We want to make peace, conquer Lubeck, and we will wait till they're no longer negative 300. All hands need to build for the future. Uh, I'm sorry, we need to annoy you. I can't cost our production we need it at maximum efficiency ottoman rhine interest removed why was the ottoman interested in the rhine okay well that was rather easy one war well there, there's there's new acquisition for us uh we've got Fairly positive. We're probably spending money suppressing the area. Incorporate is still going to take five years. In terms of conquering this bad boy, I presume... Prussia and Mecklenburg will side with the enemy. So I'll say no to that. Hamburg is a brilliant trading area. If we can basically get Hamburg and Lübeck, we've got dominion over this trade. So... Let's save and go after Hamburg. Hamburg! We're going to surround Denmark from below. Why are you devastated? What is the reason for being devastated? Are you in civil war or something? Well, bada bing, bada boom. And as long as no one major jumps on, we'll be fine. And then if we can take his, we will build a canal. That makes trade brilliant in this area. In terms of money, we have barely enough. Military, mobilize all, activate conscripts. Yes, please. And buildings. What are we constructing right now? A shipyard. Um, we'll take a look at market once again. Trade routes. Balance. We need more wood. We need more iron. We'll go for an iron then. And then a clothes market. Iron cloth chair. Sounds about right. Resources. Where are we? Um... Iron mine. We go here. Then it was logging. Predicted profit. Zealand. I'll take. And what did I say? I was I was contemplating building a chair. It costs fabric and it costs wood. What was the other one? It was furniture and cloth. Where is cloth? Textile. 
Goods consumption. Dye, silk, and fabric. We don't produce dye or silk. How can we produce dye or silk? Since we can't produce dye or silk at the moment, I'm not even going to bother. So we'll just focus on building a singular chair. And that will allow people to sit in comfort. Predicted profits. I'll take that. Not many peasants really available, but I presume 7,000 is enough to work in one workshop. Am I right or am I right? Resume. The government attempts at colonial resettlement has brought ethics of colonialism before. Colonial resettlement is morally correct. Um... is this colonial debate it seems the exact same oh no this is slightly better political movement support we have no right to finish right they say we bring civilization with us we bring misery blah 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 whatever just go um uh, they're getting oh no i haven't prepared i haven't prepared navy oh wait we can't we should be able to prepare our naval invasion before but for some reason we can't we need to wait until it actually ticks about before we can send our men in to battle hello it's going quite well if you haven't noticed we've been able to contain zealand we've taken over lubeck and now we're about to capture hamburg and solidify our control over the trade regions and then claim world dominion. Um, escalation. No one seems to be getting involved. Everybody's declaring neutrality. That's fine. Atmospheric engine unlocked. Don't mind if I do. And our war is a go, I believe. Let's go and invade. Nope, it's not a go yet. It's almost a go. Oh, yeah. Austria is a melon. And start improving relations again. We are meant to be allies. We are BFFs. Wait, did they just become part of us? Okay, apparently we didn't even need war because they were so small. But they are just part of us. So, yay, we got the Swedish Elb. I'll wrap up here then for YouTube. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. We'll be continuing with the Victoria 3 in the future and we'll be spreading our glorious empire through the seven seas.